Hey, welcome to another Smiley Minute. I didn't do one last week because it's my wife's birthday and I did a week of gifts and fun stuff for her. She loves to read, so like I took her to the library. I uh, took her to a swanky restaurant and gave her a bunch of tokens to play skee ball until our food was ready. She loves multitasking, so we watched a movie one night and got all our groceries for the next week all at the same place. Um, but that was last week, so let's get to the news. Okay, tons of you guys sent me this news item. In Wisconsin, a woman, her son, and their dog created chaos in a Walmart. I read the article. I don't see what the big deal was. The 26-year-old son ran around naked in Walmart trying to put clothes on to steal. The mom stole a bunch of food and then performed karate on a cop's car as the police tried to rest her in a parking lot. And the dog ran away with a box of muffin mix in his mouth. I think that was a nursery rhyme story once. Anyway, Walmart calls that a slow Thursday, so I don't know why it was all over the news. I did like the nude boy in Kickstarter. That's actually the superhero names that I gave him. Got arrested, but the dog was let off with a warning. After interviewing the dog, police said that his bark was worse than his bite. Oh, in New Mexico, a man was arrested after police found dozens of expensive diamonds hidden in his um, prison wallet, so to speak. Anyway, after a thorough cavity search, they probably actually sent him to the Canadian border crossing. I've been there and, man, talk about free health care exams. Anyway, after the cavity search, the jewels were found. Talk about a diamond in the rough. Daryl Hargrave sent this in. In West Kelowna, officers had their guns drawn on a suspect when a person dressed as Batman sauntered over to the officers after jumping out of his Batmobile and then asked if the cops needed help. I uh, was out of town that day. Joseph X sent me a story where a man was stranded for five days in a blizzard in Oregon and survived by just eating Taco Bell hot sauce packets. Yokiero diarrhea. Taco Bell enjoyed the publicity so much, they're actually giving him a year of free food. Come on, TB. Hadn't the guy suffered enough? Rebecca Phillips let me know about a lady that led police in Ohio on a 30-minute high-speed car chase, causing several wrecks. However, police said that she did use her blinker with every crazy high-speed turn. Once they caught her, she simply just said that she was speeding because she was late for work. No word if she was fired from the DMV. And finally, it's Easter weekend, so go out and enjoy the celebration of hope that we all have. Just don't eat too much candy. Once when Trent, my son, was four, he ate five Cadbury eggs right before church. And when I say he sat in his own pew, I mean... <laughs> oh, and also, next week, come see me and comedian Mike Hickman. We're going to be in Colchester, Connecticut, Uxbriggs, MA, North Adams, MA, and Poughkeepsie, New York. We're doing a tour up in New England. The info is at my website bobsmiley.com. Ding. So that's it for the Smiley Minute. Put out weekly, always a minute or less. Oh, I want to thank our new sponsor, Sherry Hampton, for sending me an apologetic CD. Those guys are really, really funny. You should check them out. If you want to be a Smiley Minute sponsor, just send us something free. Also, keep sending strange news to bob at bobsmiley.com. Ding. And, as always, I hope you're smiling a lot, or at least for a minute today. A Smiley Minute? Huh. That'll be the day.